So on the previous video, I showed you how you can export Power BI files or data based on different categories and export it to different files. But we were using a number as a category identifier. So we were using category ID from the North Wind dataset. In this case, we want to export a file for beverage sales, for condiment sales at different files, obviously. And using the category name instead of the category number. So let me show you how that is done. It's similar, but a bit different. Okay, so let's go to Power Automate and select New Flow, Schedule Cloud Flow. And this is going to be filter by or with text. Again, give it a better name than that because you'll have multiple flows and it will be difficult to find. But just for the sake of not boring you naming things, I'm doing it a bit faster. So once a month, this is going to run. Now, when we were doing numbers, we were creating a variable. Here, we're also creating a variable, but it's going to be a um, string instead of a number. So variable, initial is a variable. This is going to be called category name. And it's going to be an array. array. And it's going to be a list of items. We're going to just export two categories, but obviously you can export all of them. And again, I am hard coding the listing here, but you could actually do a previous Power BI query where you grab the values in case you want to have it dynamic. Okay, but just to not complicate things, we hard code it for now. Um, next step, we're going to do apply to each. So what it's going to do is it's going to go through the list on the variable that we just initiated and going to loop through it. And it's the exactly the same concept as for numbers, but we're using different steps just because, you know, they are different. So apply to each, and it's going to be the category name. So we're saying for each category name, do X, Y, Z. And what we're going to do is first run a query against the data set, so that's the Power BI. And I have an entire playlist that explains how this works, how to create this DAX expression, how to uh, change the name of the columns, how to do all kinds of stuff. Just please, Corbel Learning Portal or the playlist on YouTube, and you have everything there. So I'm going to copy the DAX definition. First, pick the, the data set, then copy the DAX definition. This is going to create the table that we want before extracting it. But here, instead of having category ID, obviously we want to have current item, which is basically the category name that we're creating in here, but it's being looped. Next, we're going to create the CSV file. which is going to be the rows. Then we're going to create the file in SharePoint. And then on the next video, I'm going to show you how you can actually put these in different folders in SharePoint. So I'm going to put them all in one folder now, but on the next video, we will split it. So we're going to go to that one. And here I'm going to go back scene track it. I always forget. And then we're going to get the downloads folder. And I'm going to put all the downloads in there, but they're going to be by category. File name is going to be current item, which is going to be the category name of that loop. And then I'm going to put UTC, UTC now, which is a time timestamp. Okay. And remember, which I always forget, to put the file extension. Otherwise, it would be like a blank file, and you don't want that. And then the output is going to be, obviously, the CSV table that we previously created. And you save, you test, and you cross your fingers.
and you have to put these into brackets otherwise into quotation marks sorry because otherwise it would not be read as text so i'm going to leave the errors in there so in case that happened to you you know what happened so test done and now you should be okay come on <laughs> okay looking better so if it's gone that far it means at least that the dax query is okay so hopefully we should have a download soon let's go to the download folder and wait a second, no, it's not there yet. Green. And then we have the dairy products and the seafood. So, yes. So on the next video, we are going to modify this slightly so we can put it in different folders in SharePoint and then you can have obviously different permissions so different people can see different things, you know, where I'm going. And I'm going to put it in a different video so people actually can find it, that's the only reason.